The Nevado del Ruiz is a stratovolcano located near Bogota, Colombia, at the top of the Andes volcano chain, which was formed from the subduction of the Nazca Oceanic Plate beneath the South American Continental Plate. Historically, Nevado del Ruiz has been very active, with eruptions dating back to 660 BC and each eruption producing deadly lahars. Lahars are hot or cold mixtures of water and rock fragments which flow down volcanoes. When moving, a lahar looks like a mass of wet concrete that carries rock debris ranging inside from clay to boulders more than 10 meters in diameter. Lahars almost always occur on or near strata volcanoes because these volcanoes tend to erupt explosively and their tall, steep cones are either snow-covered at the top of the crater lake, constructed of weakly consolidated rock debris that is easily eroded, or internally weakened by hot hydrothermal fluids. On November 13, 1985, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Nevado del Ruiz erupted, spewing out clouds of ash. The people of the neighboring towns were told to evacuate, but it was soon called off when the ash stopped falling. Then, at 9.08 p.m., a second eruption occurred, creating tepra and pyroclastic flows. This eruption was not particularly dangerous, but the lahars that it created were devastating. Eruption caused 5 to 10 percent of the ice cap covering the volcano to melt and produced deadly lahars that swept across the base of the volcano at speeds of 50 kilometers per hour. The towns of Armiro and Chinchina were wiped out by the lahars within a few hours of the second eruption. An estimated 23,000 people and 15,000 animals were killed, 4,500 injured, and 8,000 left homeless. Rescue was severely limited due to the mud and debris from the lahars, so survivors could only be airlifted to hospitals. Altogether, the volcano caused $1 billion in damages, or about one-fifth of Colombia's gross national product. The Arenas Crater, 16,000 feet above sea level, erupted. The relatively small explosion melted a mere 5 to 10 percent of the ice cap that covered the volcano. Nevertheless, it was sufficient to trigger the violent descent of a destructive amount of mud and rock along the beds of the Lagunilla and Chinchina rivers. The mudslides reached the city of Armero, 30 miles east of the crater, at a speed of perhaps 25 miles an hour, covering the city in mud. The magnitude of this disaster was not known until daybreak. Aerial reconnaissance of the region showed that the mudslides covered a 20 square mile area. 85% of our marrow had vanished. More than 21,000 people lost their lives in this city alone, and another 2,000 perished in Chinchina. The mud flows, more than a mile wide in some places, destroyed roadways and bridges. Surprisingly enough, many people survived. Disasters such as sudden landslides or flash floods normally leave few survivors. But in this case, the composition of the mud may have helped many victims to float in it. Its consistency, however, could not support rescue equipment or heavy machinery. Survivors could be rescued only by air. 
One year later, in 1986, a study team consisting of geologists from the U.S. Geological Survey observed and concluded that the volcano should be regarded as very dangerous and at risk of a future eruption. They also concluded that an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 lives are at risk in the towns neighboring the volcano.